it's the toughest I've seen uh, for teacher burnout and even kid burnout. Carla Smith is an eighth grade science teacher in Dallas ISD. 20% of her kids haven't returned from winter break and COVID has crushed staffing. You can't get the lady from the office to cover or you get the counselors to cover, which is what usually happens. You just have any staff member, the hall monitors are covering classes. This week, several North Texas school boards will meet to discuss COVID policies and teacher retention. Smith is on her 26th year and now mentors new staff. This is a pretty stressful tension filled environment for some and it's not for the faint of heart. I can say that there may be some COVID relief soon after nearly 70,000 students and more than 25,000 staff in Texas tested positive in the two weeks after break. I believe that you will start to see a turnaround throughout the entire country. Sunday morning, Dr. Anthony Fauci told ABC News that East Coast states are improving and that with continued masking and vaccination, COVID could become like the flu in just a few months. We'd like it to get down to that level where it doesn't disrupt us in the sense of getting back to a degree of normality. But that won't stop the politics, help the pay, or change the test score stress, also hurting staffing. Smith says she's stuck with it because of the impact teaching has on lives. I tell the kids not on my watch. Nobody's failing. You're in my pool. I'm the lifeguard. Whatever happens. Students and teachers have never faced stress or obstacles like this before. And even once COVID subsides, it will take time and effort to make sure both can recover. William Joy is live in Fort Worth now. William, let's maybe talk big picture because a lot of parents out there are hoping things calm down in school soon. I know you closely track COVID data. Are we nearing the peak of the Omicron surge in North Texas? And Teresa, I really wish there was a clear answer to that, but let me walk you through what we do know. Right now, the percent of people who are testing positive is the highest it's ever been by a good margin but we've started to see that trend down the last several days in a row. Same thing goes for cases as well. We know that hospitalizations here lag both of those measures by about a week or two, but even those have started to flatten off a little bit. Now, unfortunately, the sad news is that our vaccination rate is far below the levels on the East Coast, some of those northern states that have already turned the corner here in the last week or so. But if we follow that pattern, we could also be turning the COVID corner and get some relief here in the next couple of weeks. Teresa.